Hi, I'm Maria. For the longest time, I couldn't pluck up the courage to tell my story on the Private Diary channel. Please hit the like button and subscribe to support me. I come from a small Brazilian village. My parents, their friends, and their friends' friends all had dark skin and black hair. I was born with black hair too, but my skin was white. What's wrong with her? She looks like a vampire. That's not my daughter. Rest assured, this is your child. She just has a rare skin condition. When I was little, mom and dad forbade me from leaving the house. I only ever went out in the evenings with them. Wait for me! Maria, could you be any slower? This is so annoying. I always got the feeling my parents didn't like me. Neither of them ever played with me, so I had to entertain myself. I am a magician! My favorite thing to do was come up with spells and magic tricks. When I was five, I found glitter in mom's makeup bag. I will cast a spell on my parents and then they'll love me! I snuck up to my parents and threw glitter in their faces. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! Ah! Ugh. But instead of growing to love me, they lost their temper. You're my punishment for something. The worst child in the world. Hearing that hurt so much, I burst into tears and ran out into the yard. I wasn't allowed to leave the house during the day, but I completely forgot about it. Almost immediately, my skin started to itch. Soon, I was covered in red spots. I almost fainted, but dad found me and carried me back home. What's wrong with me? You have a rare skin disease. It causes an extreme sensitivity to sunlight. That's why you can't go outside during the day. Why couldn't you be born normal, you freaking vampire? When I went to school, I had to wear clothes that covered every inch of my skin and a mask to protect myself from the sun. I tried to focus on studying and ignore those bullies. I even signed up for extra English classes. I'm going to grow up and leave this town. One day, I saw flyers at school. The show of the famous illusionist, Mr. Black. I immediately decided that I had to see it. So I broke my piggy bank and delivered pizzas for a couple of weeks to earn money for the tickets. The show was going to take place in a neighboring town. I didn't tell my parents where I was going. Now, watch me turn invisible. Wow! After the show, I decided to talk to Mr. Black. I wanted to learn how to do such amazing tricks, too. I snuck past the guards and made my way into his dressing room. But instead of Mr. Black, I saw a woman sitting there. Your costume? Are you Mr. Black? How did you get here? Where was the security looking? Please don't kick me out. I just wanted to say that I admire you and I want to be an illusionist too. I didn't expect my words to change anything, but to my surprise, she let me stay. Call me Sheila. When she asked about my life, I told her about my skin condition. Is that why you wear a mask? Yes, but I'm used to it. You've seen my face. Let me look at you too. I hesitated, but took off the mask in the end. Oh my gosh, Maria, you're so pretty. Are you serious? Of course I am. You look like Snow White. People usually call me a vampire. Things could have ended at that if Sheila hadn't suggested we exchange phone numbers. I was on cloud nine. We often video called each other, and Sheila taught me all sorts of tricks. Now, give it a try. Oh. Don't worry, try again. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you messing around again? Why are you so weird? It felt like the older I got, the more my parents hated me. One day, mom asked me to heat up dinner. I got distracted and completely forgot that I had left a frying pan on the stove. Oh no, you're a walking disaster. I wish we hadn't had children. It's not my fault I was born. I didn't want to admit it, but dad's words stung. Did you fight with your parents again? They hate me. Hmm, listen, I have this thing. I've got to run. See you later, okay? Sheila left before I could say goodbye to her. Over the next few days, she did not get in touch with me again or answer any of my calls. I was starting to worry, but then one morning, someone rang our doorbell. Maria, are you deaf? Go open the door. Sheila? I've come to take you away, sweetie. Do you want to come with me? I stared at her in shock and couldn't believe that it was truly happening. Don't look at me like that. I'm not an illusion. You, I, of course I want to. What's all this? You two are terrible parents, so I want to take Maria away and adopt her. What on earth are you talking about? I'm not giving my child to anyone. How about now? Um, she's our beloved daughter. We couldn't possibly. We'll pack her clothes. Have a good one. I could have got upset my parents had given me up so easily, but at that moment, I was over the moon. Finally, I was free. Sheila brought me to her house in California. Make yourself at home. I'll be back soon. After a few minutes, a girl walked into the living room. Oh, are you the new maid? Wash my dress. Actually, I, this is so like mom. Couldn't she hire someone smarter? Sheila had told me she had a daughter, but it seems they couldn't be more different. Maria, let's celebrate your move. Oh, Agatha, you're back. The new maid is as slow as a snail. 
She's not a maid. Maria is your new sister. Sheila hadn't warned Agatha about me, so the news came as a real shock to her. Like your tricks aren't enough. You brought another weirdo into our house. Agatha, eat the cake without me. I hope you get fat and burst. Agatha and I turned out to be the same age. I got transferred to her class. When I came to the new school, I was in for an unpleasant surprise. Agatha was a queen there and even had a retinue. Stay away from us, weirdo. I don't want to catch whatever you have. I tried to ignore her words and focus on my studies. After coming home from school, I learned a few tricks from Sheila. How are things at school? Have you made any friends yet? I'm all right, don't worry. One day, I came to class and saw a head of garlic on my desk. Vampires need to be exterminated. Next time, we'll bring a wooden stake. Mom used to call me that too. Her words made my blood boil. You think I'm a vampire? Well, you're right. I sneakily took out the patter <laughs> Sheila and I used for tricks and threw it at Agatha. A red mist immediately enveloped her. You're done for! Ah! Ah! Surprisingly enough, it was Agatha and her hangers on that gave me an idea. Hmm, what if I made a vampire themed illusion show? The idea inspired me, and that evening I started on a script. A few days later, our class was running at the school stadium. At some point, the world suddenly blurred before my eyes. I fell down and passed out. When I came to, I was in a hospital room. What happened to her? The California sun is too strong for Maria. This climate doesn't suit her. I'm fine. Honey, you don't need to pretend or lie to comfort me. After I was discharged, Sheila said we're moving to another state. What? Do you expect me to drop out of school and leave my friends because of your adoptee? Quit acting like this! We're moving! period. Soon we were in a small and rainy town of Forks in Washington State. On the first day of school, I put on my usual clothes. Why are you dressed like a scarecrow again? You don't have to walk next to me. Did you just transfer here? What on earth are you wearing? Never mind her. She's always been weird. You seem cool. Do you want to hang out with us? Agatha quickly found a new friend called Audrey. They were two peas in a pod. Maria, are you wearing a mask because you're afraid your face would scare everyone off? Are you that ugly? Don't take it off then. Leave her alone. Why are you picking on her? Look, a knight in shining armor. I don't need anyone to protect me. Back off. The guy who stood up for me was called Rick. To my confusion, he followed me around all day. Don't mind Audrey. She's a terrible witch. Whatever. I've long learned to ignore bullies like her. Rick was the only person who was kind to me. He even offered to walk me home after school, but I said no and quickly ran away. I have a surprise for you. Look how pretty it is. It is beautiful, but it's so revealing. It's going to rain tomorrow. We move to the rainiest city in the US. You don't have to hide anymore. The next day, I hesitated for a long time before putting on the new dress and was almost late for school as a result. When I arrived, everyone stared at me in wonder and whispered to each other. I probably shouldn't have taken the mask off. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll pick everything up. I'll help you. Me too. What was going on? I was so confused. When I walked into the classroom, my classmates stared at me too. Maria, is that you? Wow, you're gorgeous. I felt like my face was on fire. Being the center of attention made me want to hide under my desk or turn invisible. Hmm, you are really pretty. I've changed my mind. We can be friends. What? With Maria? She looks like a vampire. That's even cooler. In case you didn't know, after the famous saga came out, half of Forks became obsessed with vampires. Audrey even apologized for being mean to me. Friends? I'd never had a friend before, so I agreed to join her gang of popular girls. Friends. However, being friends with Audrey and the other girls wasn't as fun as I thought. They weren't interested in anything except clothes and visits to beauty salons, but at least they treated me well. Unlike Agatha. Now fold your hands like this and take a handkerchief out of your pocket. It worked! You're both nuts. One day after school, the girls and I came to a cafe. Agatha, you've looked terrible lately. You should see a cosmetologist. I realized that Agatha had changed too. One day, I accidentally saw her covering dark circles under her eyes with makeup. Are you all right? I'm great, leave me alone. At first, I thought she just wasn't getting enough sleep. But then one day, she suddenly turned pale as snow at dinner and fainted. Sheila called an ambulance and Agatha was taken to the hospital. She has a heart condition. That's why she had changed so much and was tired all the time. I'll prescribe her medicine. Agatha was discharged soon after that, but she still felt unwell. One day, the principal gathered everyone at school in the main hall. A talent contest is going to be held in our city soon. The winner will get a large cash prize and will be promoted by a famous producer. You need to submit an application by tomorrow evening if you want to take part in it. Oh, sign me up! I'm a great singer! Girls, you can be my backup dancers! 
I decided it was my chance to show everyone my Vampire Illusion show. As I was leaving the city hall after submitting my application in secret, I bumped into Rick. Do you want to go for a walk with me? I'm sure you haven't seen the most beautiful places in our town yet. Why not? Rick led me to the forest. He was interested in botany and knew a lot about plants. The trees in that forest looked amazing. We lay down in a flower field, looked at the cloudy sky and chatted. You know, I'd never talked to a guy like that before, so I felt awkward at first, but eventually relaxed. This time, I let Rick walk me home. The next morning, we went to school together. Rule number one, my friends shouldn't date guys I don't approve of. Rick and I are not an item, but if I ever decide to go out with him, I won't ask for anyone's approval. Watch it, you don't want me as your enemy. Oh no, whatever would I do? I didn't take Audrey's words seriously at the time, but something terrible happened after school. We came to the main hall to practice for the contest. As we danced, Agatha suddenly felt sick. Here, take this. Jeez, you look so pathetic. We can't be friends anymore. Are you serious? Are you deaf? Read my lips. Get lost. I'm out too. I've had enough. You choose beautiful friends, but beauty has nothing to do with looks. I took Agatha's hand and we left together. Once we got home, she had a tantrum. I'm sick and no one wants me around. That's not true. Everything's gonna be fine. Trust me. I'm sorry, Maria. Now that I'm in your shoes, I get what it's like. I treated you terribly. What matters is you realized it. It sucks that I won't be able to perform at the talent show. I was really looking forward to it. Actually, I have an idea. I told her that I also signed up for the contest and suggested Agatha perform with me. Do you think I can do it? I don't doubt it. At dinner, Agatha had a heart to heart with Sheila for the first time. I was so jealous of you, Maria. You had common interests and I felt like an outsider. I thought you didn't care about me. That's not true. You're my daughter, but I love you both. I'm sorry I made you doubt that. That talk brought us closer. I felt like an outsider when I was with my parents, so I knew what Agatha had been going through. The next day, Audrey boycotted us at school. All the girls took her side, but the boys kept trying to get my attention. I'll lock Audrey in a closet if you want. I could put Madagascar cockroaches in her backpack. Just say the word. Thanks, but don't do that. Rick was there for me. We hung out at school and often went for walks in the forest. Soon, Agatha and I arrived at the place where the contest was going to take place to practice. Audrey was already singing there. When it was our turn, she didn't leave. This is plagiarism! You stole tricks from Mr. Black. I went to his performances and know what I'm talking about. I didn't steal anything. Mr. Black taught me himself. Don't make me laugh. Everyone knows Mr. Black doesn't reveal his identity to anyone or take students. Huh. I couldn't tell her about Sheila, so I decided to just ignore Audrey. But then she started following me around. Audrey stalked me at school, on the street, and even followed me home. I want to show you my new costume. I decided to change my mask a bit. Let's not do that here. What's wrong? Look over there. Oh, that was close. Finally, the day of the contest came. When I arrived, the sun suddenly came out from behind the clouds. Oh no, I wanted to hide in the building, but the door was locked. Let's see you burn in the sun. Panic seized me. I was about to get burned like a real vampire, but then a car stopped next to me. Get in, Maria. Thank you, you're a lifesaver. After I recovered a bit, I noticed that my skin looked normal. How is it possible? I stood in the sun but didn't get hurt? It's time to get ready. We were the last to perform, and our show blew everyone's mind. Maybe being a vampire wasn't that bad? Audrey impressed the judges too. She was a good singer, but in the end, I became the winner. It was incredible. I never felt happier. It's not fair. Maria stole other people's ideas. I've already sent a letter to Mr. Black. I'm sure he won't be thrilled when he finds out about this either. Are you sure about that? I'm quite proud of my student. Don't make me laugh. Audrey was shocked, as was everyone else. The appearance of the famous illusionist on stage was epic. Well, Maria, shall we perform together? It was the most exciting thing that ever happened to me. Sheila and I did a trick we've been practicing for a while, and we nailed it. After the competition, we came home and celebrated our victory. Girls, I'm so proud of you. Soon, I went back to the clinic and they ran some tests. Your skin has become less sensitive to sunlight. It happens sometimes. It's called psychosomatic. The doctor explained that I used to be stressed because of my family. That's why my body reacted like that. And now the stress was gone and I was fine. Can you imagine? Sheila and I are preparing a joint performance. Rick and I are going out and I'm head over heels in love with him. As soon as I started making money, my parents showed up on our doorsteps. They tried to take me back, but I didn't want anything to do with them. My real family is Sheila and Agatha. By the way, Agatha is getting better and we're closer than ever.